After months of waiting, an Afghan translator and his family are now in their own home in Georgetown. It's a dream come true for the U.S. citizen who had congressional help getting his family out of Afghanistan when American troops withdrew in August. The KV defenders have been following the progress of Wally, who viewers helped in February with an outpouring of donations. Here's investigative reporter Jenny Lee on how those same volunteers had a hand in this latest surprise. Putting together furniture, stocking the kitchen. We have uh, pots and pans and dishes. And getting a home ready. And we've got new things for a new family to move in. We saw all the refugees from Afghanistan. Now we're seeing from the Ukraine. You know, those people need a safe place to be and live so they can thrive with their children. Volunteers like Jane Comer usually set up apartments for refugees, not houses. They're hard to come by, especially affordable housing in Central Texas. But fellow First Presbyterian Church volunteer Milt Clark made it his mission to find a house. We looked and looked and looked. It was Clark who posted this message on Nextdoor back in February. He asked for help after seeing our story about Wally, a U.S. citizen who served alongside the Army as a translator in Afghanistan. In August, his family nearly didn't make it out as U.S. troops left and the Taliban took over. Congressman Lori Doggett had to intervene. Eyes closed. Okay, just to your right. Wally and his family have now not seen the their new home until now. Open your eyes. Wow. Wally is so stunned. Wow. All he can say wow. over and over. Thank you. Thank Wally you, is so Thank grateful. You. I feel so blessed that nothing more. I feel so blessed. I'm, 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 I don't have the words to describe like how grateful I am uh, for all the Texans, you know, Austinites that help, you know, uh, us find a home and, and accepted us, welcomed us. Every room furnished, complete with furniture, donations from the community, or items bought with money from the community. Wally's favorite is the artwork on the walls. These arts, I love it. You know, it's like the best is yet to come. You know, that's, that's, that's so true. Another piece of this story we need to tell you about Wally got a new job. He no longer works as a driver for a ride sharing company. Instead, just this week, he got a new job as a translator. He now works for a national nonprofit helping other refugees. In Georgetown, I'm Jenny Lee. Talk about a happy ending. Jenny, thanks so much. Wally now leasing the home. He wants to remind the community that there are many refugees still waiting for permanent housing. So please continue to donate if you can. Find out how you can help by searching for this story on our website. That, of course, is caveview.com.